Good afternoon. They are making progress. Take a look at all of these ballots here that have been counted. These are the ones that have been recounted, but the job is far from over. Take a look at all of the volunteers and workers that are still hard at work. It is a monumental task, and the clock is ticking. No, no, that is not state law. That is not how work. Confusion inside the room at noontime today as folks were still learning on the fly how to hand count the thousands of ballots that'll come through here. Just some of the millions of statewide ballots needing to be verified after Green Party candidate Jill Stein called for a recount. The Bureau of Election staff and the Board of State Canvassers are complying with the judge's order. That judge, a federal one, ruling overnight the recount needed to start today, two days ahead of schedule due to the tight deadline of December 13th. It's a very challenging deadline. Counties will start counting in a stagnated order over the next 48 hours, but the pushed up start had workers like Beverly McWilliams rushing in to help. This morning I got a text, okay, be there at 12. These are people hired by the Oakland County Clerk's staff and uh, the, board of, the Board of Canvassers for Oakland County. They'll be working in teams of two to review the ballots and tally them up. Observers were also brought in to monitor the teams, people like Calvin Hayhow. Let's check it out. Maybe the machines are making a mistake. The GOP suing to stop this. A hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. An attorney for Donald Trump was here monitoring the count. The concern is that a, a, a candidate with 50,000 votes petitioning for a recount where the, the two primary candidates got over two and a half million. Yeah, that's a concern. Yeah. And the fact whether she's an aggrieved individual or not, we think she clearly isn't. An attorney for the Jill Stein campaign declined to talk on camera. Finally, as for the cost of all of this, uh, possibly over $2 million. The Jill Stein campaign has to pay about 800 grand of that. The rest of it is on the taxpayer. We'll keep you posted out here. We're live in Oakland County. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, Jonathan, we'll see how it plays out. Thank you so much. Now